good afternoon, friends. Welcome to the Sackcloth and Ashes News Report. Uh, we're talking about meteorites in the news today and a prophetic dream that the Lord gave my older sister of a very serious meteor shower that hit in her own neighborhood. A lot of details are in this prophetic dream, so please stay tuned to the end here, friends, because we're going to hear what the Lord wants to convey to his people on this topic of meteorite showers. You know, if we've never had the internet, if we've never had TV or the radio, we would still know what's going on with the signs of our coming king. Not only do we have the precious written word of God, he also brings things into more detail through prophetic dreams and visions and Holy Spirit downloads to our hearts. Amen. And that's one reason why I love the passage in Joel 2.28, that the Lord would pour out his spirit in the last days and give to people dreams and visions. We don't have to be glued to the TV to know what's officially going on from heaven's viewpoint. We have to be connected to the Holy Spirit news from heaven. Amen. So that's an exciting thing to understand. This love of God that the rich, the poor, the free and the bond can all be informed of what's to come if they draw close to God. The Bible says that if we do that, that he will surely draw close to us. Will everyone recall that famous dog from Costa Rica named Rocky? Three years ago, his doghouse was hit by a meteor, leaving a seven-inch diameter hole in the roof. Christie's had an online auction, and they entitled it Deep Impact and officially sold that doghouse for about $44,000. They expected to get a whopping $200,000 to $300,000, but I believe, it's just my opinion, that since more and more meteors are falling, they had to lower their price. Now, the meteorite that fell into the doghouse was auctioned separately and sold for around $21,000. Now, that story was back in February of this year, and I just praise God that his hand of protection was upon that little dog, Rocky. No harm came to that dog, but great awareness of what's going on in the heavens was achieved. Let's take a look at this next article. And then we had people in Indiana seeing and hearing and feeling a meteor hit last week. Uh, it was Wednesday afternoon. According to WTHR.com, people reported seeing a flash or hearing a loud boom south of Indianapolis, a thundering sound. Then there was a report in Central Texas from the same uh, source, WTHR, uh, that there was a fireball streaking early morning across the sky when people were driving to work. Now, meteors typically enter into the atmosphere at speeds of up to 160,000 miles per hour. This meteor in Texas, it appeared as a bright blue light streaking across the sky. Friends, do you think that the Lord is starting to get people's attention yet? I wonder if the sale of telescopes is on the rise. I'm thinking I might get one. Well, now let's talk about my sister Melanie's dream about the meteorites falling in Ohio. Now, she's had several dreams from the Lord of asteroids and meteors, but this one was from July of last year, and it was nighttime. And, oh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and read her, uh, her own words of this dream. It was nighttime. And my family was walking from the street to our front yard. And all of a sudden, rocks on fire started to fall from the sky. And I saw one hit the ground. And then I saw two hit the ground. And then three. And then five. It escalated. Every step I took, I could not believe that the rocks did not hit my feet. It was terrifying. It was so terrifying that I felt that I should move. I should relocate, move to another state, she said. My husband and my two daughters and I began running towards our home, which seemed very far away. Actually, we were only a few doors down the street from our home. Meteors were falling all around us, and the ground was shaking. This sounds terrifying, doesn't it? They were hitting the ground so hard that I heard booms going off from their impact. There were fires everywhere. 
The rocks were falling so fast and so hard, I was terrified. We finally made it inside our home and watched in terror until morning came. At sunrise, the meteor shower had stopped. My husband and I went outside to assess the damage in the neighborhood. We went several blocks to the convenience store and it seemed as if half of the neighborhood was damaged. Just about every other house was damaged, she wrote. We spoke with our neighbors and some of their loved ones were missing. When we arrived back home, there was an insurance uh, agent there. She said she wasn't sure if it was an insurance agent or a FEMA representative, but they were there and they wanted to see her home. Part of our living room was sunken into the ground. The floor was separated from the wall. I felt as though the meteors hit the ground so hard that they caused earthquakes. And that's the end of that dream. You know, friends, in another dream she had that, uh, it was during the month of October in her dream that NASA was shooting rockets at one large asteroid. And from where she stood in her driveway in the dream, she said that asteroid was huge. It was visible from her own yard. Now, friends, I want to ask you, what can be said of all of these things reported today in the news and from this prophetic dream? These events are how God speaks as both creator, as righteous judge, and as the savior to the world. And there are many biblical stories of how God shows his displeasure of sin by raining down heavenly objects. And you can research various Bible stories on this topic, such as the most popular story, Sodom and Gomorrah. God even used hailstones to protect his own people in past battles and will use it again in the future. Read carefully about how God executes his righteous wrath against Gog in the last two verses of that famous passage of Ezekiel 38. And it goes, and I will bring him, I will bring him to judgment with pestilence and bloodshed. I will rain down on him, on his troops and on the many peoples who are with him, flooding, rain, great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Thus, I will magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. Now, that's what I call poetic righteous judge justice. Don't you guys? Don't you love the word of God? All right. Well, that's it for today's broadcast. Be sure to be in a right standing with the Lord Jesus Christ today. Invite him to be the Lord of your life while you still have breath in your lungs because we know that tomorrow is not guaranteed. All right, friends, good day.